Welcome to USA Breaking News Today. Please subscribe and click notification box to get all breaking news alert. Breaking news today. Middle East crisis. Iran warns Saudi Arabia to avoid unforgivable mistake. Iran's supreme leader has issued a warning to bitter rivals Saudi Arabia that any move to negotiate with Israel would be an unforgivable mistake Ayatollah Ali Khomeini made the threat after Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman said Israelis were entitled to live peacefully on their own land. In response to bin Salman's comments, Khomeini branded Israel an oppressive regime and urged the Saudis not to negotiate with the Jewish state. He said, movement toward negotiation with the cheating lying and oppressive regime of Israel is a big, unforgivable mistake. It will push back the victory of the people of Palestine. Saudi Arabia, the birthplace of Islam and site of its holiest shrines, does not officially recognize Israel. However, bin Salman's comments, quoted in the U.S. magazine The Atlantic, are a further sign of an apparent thawing in bilateral ties. He said, I believe that each people, anywhere, has a right to live in their peaceful nation. I believe the Palestinians and the Israelis have the right to have their own land. But we have to have a peace agreement to assure the stability for everyone and to have normal relations. His comments come as mainly Sunni Muslim Saudi Arabia faces off against Shiite Iran in a regional power struggle. Tehran and Riyadh back opposing sides in the conflicts in Yemen and Syria, as well as rival political groups in Iraq and Lebanon. After the Crown Prince's comments, his father King Salman reiterated Saudi Arabia's support for a Palestinian state. Riyadh has repeatedly urged Israeli to withdraw from Arab lands captured in the 1967 Middle East War territory Palestinians seek for a future state. However, Saudi Arabia opened its airspace for the first time to a commercial flight to Israel last month. The breakthrough, which came after two years of efforts, was hailed as historic by Israeli tourism minister Yaif Levin. Thanks for watch please share like comment this video and subscribe channel for latest news. Breaking news today, can North Korea strike the UK? World War III six-month warning issued by MPs in grave report, North Korea's nuclear-tipped missiles could trigger World War III in the UK as soon as six months from now, MPs have warned in a shock report on Pyongyang's nuclear advancements. The rogue hermit state could be ready to unleash its arsenal on the UK Isles in the next 6 to 18 months the Commons Defence Committee has warned. MPs behind the report have concluded North Korea has the capacity to successfully launch short-range ballistic missiles, but is yet to demonstrate successful use of intercontinental ballistic missiles, ICBMs. Defence Minister Earl Howe told the committee North Korea's reach so far stretches as far out as Japan, South Korea, and China. However with the rapid speed speed of development Pyongyang has seen over the past two years, Kim Jong-un's military might could soon be able to deliver nuclear warheads around the globe. The report said, it is a reasonable assumption that North Korea can already reach the UK with ballistic missiles which could potentially carry nuclear warheads. In any case, it is almost certain to be able to do so within the next 6 to 18 months if it continues its program at the current rate of development. The stark reality presented in the report came along revelations the UK is ill-equipped to repel a possible nuclear attack from North Korea. According to the report, Britain suffers a limited ability to defend itself from ICBM attacks. The report said, the UK has only a limited ballistic missile defense capability, however, if North Korea decided to launch a missile at the UK. The government is currently investigating the use of the anti-air missile systems on the Royal Navy's six Type 45 destroyers in a BMD role, and is also developing a new land-based radar to detect ballistic missiles. Dr. Julian Lewis, who chaired the committee told Express.co.uk in an exclusive interview, the dire situation would be made all the worse by Britain's lackluster ability to contribute to a military effort against North Korea. Will North Korea ever attack the UK? The Ministry of Defense, MOD, does not believe the likelihood of North Korea ever targeting the UK is very high. The MOD told the committee, We do not judge that North Korea's nuclear program and other military capabilities are directed at the UK. North Korea has stated on several occasions that it does not consider the UK to be its enemy. It cites our official state relationship as evidence of this. 
but there are still concerns to be had and the Defense Committee has also investigated the threat to national security at the hands of North Korean cyber attacks. North Korea has repeatedly demonstrated its cyber threat capabilities in the past and it is likely the community state was responsible for the Wanakuri ransomware attack in May. The report said, the Wanakuri attack highlighted basic vulnerabilities in UK information technology systems. With North Korea unconcerned by who gets hurt when it lashes out, the UK will continue to be at risk from North Korean cyber attacks. The committee report said it welcomed the government's obligation to bolster the UK's cyber defences, with additional investments to be announced later this year. Thanks for watch please share like comment this video and subscribe channel for latest news.